Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, so this is the first class of your semester. Uh, the course that I'll be taking is uh, wireless networks and the course code is THC4615. This is for CAC third year students and again uh, the name of this course for TV is uh, wireless and mobile communication and the course code is CAC4671. So I'll be using these two titles and course codes alternatively so don't get confused. Although this is the two grade course for CAC third year and a three grade course for TV, I'll be taking the course simultaneously as the course contents are more or less the same. So IoT is moving towards uh, outcome based learning uh, which is or outcome based education which is OBE. Our vice new vice chancellor has given a lot of importance towards this to get accredited by uh, Abbott. So according to OBE, there are defined learning outcomes which can be uh, differentiated or uh, classified into four categories. The first one is program outcomes or POs, uh, which is also called student learning outcomes or SLOs. So this defines what the student will be able to do and what the student will learn after the entire program is finished. That means after four years uh, when the graduation is completed. The second one is course learning outcomes or CLOs which defines what the student will be able to learn from the course and what the student will be able to do once the course is completed. The third one is chapter learning outcomes which uh, is corresponds to the chapters and the fourth one corresponds to section and topics respectively. So these uh, learning outcomes need to be defined so that uh, in a, in a top-down process so that uh, it can be known what the program will teach the student and how much capable the student will be once the entire program completes uh, and the student graduates and based on that the course contents and how the course will be taught might change so IT is going through a lot of change abruptly which is why uh, it might require some time for me to provide you with course contents. Now according to Abbott, which is uh, you can say the most renowned organization which gives accreditation to universities, the full form is Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology. So according to them, student outcomes describe what students are expected to know and be able to do by the time of graduation. These relate to the skills, knowledge, and behaviors that students acquire as they progress through the program. So in short, uh, I will not be able to provide you with a course outline, but you will get it soon. In the meantime, I will still tell you what you will encounter in this course, and in brief, I will tell you what I will be teaching you throughout this semester. So. Uh, the first topics that we we'll learn are introduction to wireless networks. Uh, we'll be give, uh, getting an interview. Sorry, we'll be getting an overview of wireless access networks, wireless mesh networks, and personal area networks. For example, wireless sensor networks, Bluetooth, etc. And we'll also learn different wireless MAC protocols, so medium access control protocols, which include IEEE 802.11 and its different variants for example like 802.11e n s and different wireless sensor network protocols and so on we'll also learn different wireless routing metrics and methods which are used for wireless routing specifically and we'll learn protocols of different area networks for example personal area networks wide area networks etc and we'll also learn different transport protocols and its variants uh, which are mainly related to congestion control and how these protocols provide quality of service. So based on this, we I will also give you some references that you might follow. The first one is Wireless Communications and Networks, which is a book written by uh, William Stallings. The second one is uh, IEEE 802 Wireless Systems, written by Walke, Mangold, and Berleman. Uh, it is published by Wiley. Now the thing is, this course in this course actually I'll be collecting contents from different random sources based on what is required. 
and so the sources might not be consistent I might be taking stuff from different papers also to keep the course as updated as possible as a result the contents might be a bit disorganized but I will give you the contents or references whenever I'll be posting any lecture videos uh, in which case you will be able to know the references very soon now I will give you a brief uh, description of the applications that I'll be using to conduct my classes the first one I'll be using is Google Classroom and if you have not yet entered the Google Classroom please do as this will be the central platform I'll be posting announcements assignments and even the links to the video lectures in the Google Classroom the second application that I'll be using is YouTube and I'll be uploading my video lectures in YouTube a as a result you can actually uh, see the videos in different resolutions in even in uh, low resolutions for those who are in remote areas but uh, as a result I'll be expecting everyone to see the lectures during the period or maybe afterwards but on the same day as I'll be holding discussions based on those video lectures uh, during the weekends and again I might be taking quizzes if you have already seen my post in Google Classroom so those quizzes will determine how much you have understood the lectures third I'll be using Paint 3D and actually the screen that you're seeing right now is from Paint 3D so I'll be using this for my demonstrations although I might change this application based on what I have near me so I might use any other application and fourth is I'll be using uh, PowerPoint presentation slides when required so all these applications might be changing based on the need for example I think IT has employed a new system which is a learning management system I think LMS so whatever I'll be using they will be similar and easy to understand hopefully and next uh, if you have any questions regarding today's lecture or any other lecture in the future you can always ask questions and although we'll be having discussions in zoom also but you can still ask questions uh, in three ways the first one is you can ask questions through comments directly in YouTube and if you want something discreet then you can refer to Google Classroom as I'll be giving the links of the lectures as posts in Google Classroom you can also comment in those posts and I'll try to answer them and if you want something even more discreet then I'll also keep a platform for personal feedback and the last semester I think I used something called Google but I'm not sure what I'll be using in this semester okay so whatever the case always ask questions and as uh, I will not be taking real-time lectures so you will not be able to ask questions during the video so of course I'll be expecting you to ask questions later on through any means possible so uh, always ask questions without asking questions you will see that the course contents are co covered very quickly and as it is online you will not be able to interact with your classmates in real time so it will be difficult for you to understand how much the course has progressed if you do not keep track of uh, the lectures and not understand them whenever I upload them so if you have any questions please ask and I guess with this I will end today's uh, lecture uh, assalamu alaikum and thank you